It had been a year since the bombings. A year since two explosions tore through storefronts, human flesh, and the spirit of the Boston Marathon. Three people were killed at the scene, including an eight-year-old boy. A college security officer was killed during the manhunt that followed. Hundreds were injured. The city was left scarred and angry. The running community was violated. It was a terrorist act of the most intimate kind, bloodshed amid joy. In the year that followed, Boston rose. The cry was Boston strong, two determined words on shirts and signs. But the comeback would not be complete until the marathon was run again. And so on the morning of April 21st, 2014, thousands of runners lurched forward from Hopkinton. Then something remarkable happened. No American man had won Boston since 1983, but an American took the lead. It was 38-year-old Meb Kaflesgi, whose family had emigrated from Eritrea when Meb was 11, and who had become a US citizen and won a silver medal in the 2004 Olympic marathon. My story, Meb likes to say, is the American dream. On any other day, Meb might have been too old or too slow to win. His best time ranked only 15th in the field. But this wasn't any other day. This was a day for dreams. Running with the names of the four bombing victims written on his racing bib, Meb never surrendered the lead. In the midday sunlight, Meb rushed down Boylston Street. He pumped his right fist and then his left. The crowd chanted, USA, USA. At the finish, Meb raised his arms to the heavens. And then he cried. It had been a year since the bombings. The scars will last lifetimes. But on this day, it was an American from a place far away who made his country proud, who made a city smile through its pain who stood strongest of all.